Bob did the recording for me. So I it's, it's, locked it's, them yeah. attic for yeah. 15 minutes. <laughs> so, so it's been it's been good. It's been a real good learning curve and had yeah. real good fun at it. And uh, we're going to Winter's Jill after this uh, to 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 Bernadette's so it might, right? You know, so excellent. Because yeah. sometimes there needs to be a what they call maybe a catalyst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A poke in the eye, yeah, usually yeah. they call it in here. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but something that's, oh, well, I can't go there, I'll yeah, go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. as you say, you've yeah. got the tools. Well, that's, that's two or three. You had the tools already, yeah. really. Yeah. Two or three good, really, really that's good people. That's me being called a member and a tool. <laughs> and, uh, uh, of course, there's been uh, people to thank from, from me. Can I mention my... Oh, no, I should. Uh, patience. Uh, no one, no one gets there alone. That's it. Absolutely. And... Uh, Okay, the odd Kit Kat does 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 my cup of tea in me. We have a wee rest and stuff, but the 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 the, the rest of it has been uh, these these people have been really supportive to me. So, uh, and I, I I just can't thank them enough. You know. Aye. No, that's great, mate. And again, just oh. and, I, and I should say, uh, you've been very supportive too, because as you as you mentioned, oh, no, you when, when I was on, I just wandered <laughs> in and said to you, hey, about uh, this, and, and you backed no. us up, which is terrific, you know. Again, for us, Josh, <coughs> that, that's the thing. We love somebody that can push the door open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, we've got a sign there that says, push the door real hard, because yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's magnets that hold it. But there's a lot of people just stand and stare at the door. Yeah, yeah. Whereas you push it open yeah, and say, yeah. how you doing? Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I've got some music here. Yeah, yeah. And to me, that, that that's the whole thing about attitude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where if you want somebody to hear your music, you've got to be bold. Yeah, yeah. You've got, you've got, got to go forward. Absolutely. Uh, because it's nice to say, I'm, I'm going to be famous. Somebody's going to find me. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too late to be a teenage idol. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm idol. I'm idol most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, just again, the, the fact that you you had the CD, as you said, I was intrigued because I thought I've only got half of the material here. It says, yeah. this is there's a book with lyrics and all that. <laughs> <laughs> but you've obviously kindly supplied that. That's yeah. great. And to me, that, that's the thing about thinking about things is like a package. Yeah, yeah. Like, I need to have the music, I need to have that. Yeah. That mean? To be fair, uh, Jim, to be honest with you, this is fun to me. Aye. So uh, it's not like me personally would, uh, I mean, Bob, is, he's, he's, just, he, he's released his own CD and and, and Hugh's got Tina Mara, you know, um, but to me it's fun, mm. and I've just met such, I, I've been absolutely fascinated with the people that I've met, because I think in Glasgow, particularly the music circuits I, I, I'm in, there's some phenomenal talent, aye, aye. and Sonny Govan's given, uh, given that to, you know, broadcasting, aye. whereas the other radio stations don't aye. tend to. You know. I know, again, we've always thought uh, we want to attract musical tourists. Yeah. The, more, the more musical tourists, the more jobs they'll create in the creative yeah. industries. A- absolutely. And that gives chances for yeah. our young people. And aye, that yeah. does, that's yeah. the thing about carrying your culture as well. Music's the best way to send your culture oh, abroad. Sure, definitely. And, uh, hopefully, we're going to send some of that abroad just now. He's <laughs> sitting with guitar and bordering in hand. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll pronounce that properly. <laughs> uh, Byron. Byron. <laughs> what are you going to start off with, Josh? Uh, well, um, I've got um, Don't Break My Heart. Will we start with that one? That's a hard one, Hugh. Do you think we can do that? <laughs> I'm sure they can support I'm it. Sure <laughs> can do that. Take it away when you're ready, lads. Okay. You okay. ready, Hugh? You start first. <laughs>
To the last breath there. <laughs> we heard that out. We know how to hold the stage. <laughs> uh, George, you and Bob in the studio here. And again, first track there. I was trying to do the sound levels and were hopefully sorted even better for the second time. But again, I was just, I was hearing the drum and then all of a sudden the harmonica. I was like, how did he change that so quick? <laughs> Two years. <laughs> it's like, must, must have three hands, really. <laughs> And again, when you were growing up, George, what sort of music was on the oh, turntables? Been around a long time. <laughs> so going through the Beatles and the Stones and everything, you know. But it, it, it's more just recently because we've been in the, the, the pubs and um, getting sort of into the cultural music, you know. And yeah. um, and a lot of these songs, <coughs> most of my songs that I've written, I've tried to include Scottishisms like Rothsey and ref- references to because the, the very thing that you were talking earlier about, about the people wanting to sing American stuff, I, mm-hmm. I, well, I, I'm quite proud of Glasgow, I'm quite proud of Scotland, so anywhere, you know, I don't see why you should mention Miami when you can mention Rotsy, aye, it's that aye. simple, so, so uh, and, and I think it's about self-belief for the Scottish people, you know, aye. rampant Scottish but, nationalists. So. <laughs> the, the mention of Rotsy <laughs> consists of a whole bunch of water bikers. Yeah, well, that's Rotsy a different point. <laughs> likes to mention is because it's Scottish roads you get up to about 35 miles an hour for 10 minutes oh, that's that, it. Tell me where. 
No, as you said, I had the the great band the Velo Ninos in, and that was uh, Laurie Cuff, the Cuban Heels. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, the Shaking Pyramids for what, back in the late seventies yeah, yeah, and eighties, yeah. and their new album is a kind of fifties rock and roll. Oh right, yeah. And it's li- as if the Everly Brothers have made a new album. Yeah, Honestly, yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. But they've done the same. They're great bikers, like, yeah. uh, cyclists, yeah. and that, that's why they're called the Velo Ninos uh, yeah, after yeah, yeah. the big race and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but they've got a great song called Helen's Town. Yeah, right. And they're kind of talking about Helen's so, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. they're saying about the, the wild lilacs that grow and stuff. So. Oh, why, and why not? I, and that's, I, why I, not, that's what I'm saying. Know, about yeah. We've got such a fantastic landscape to, yeah. to cheer about. Uh, but people kind of forget, and it's like it's all urban grime and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know, we've got some beautiful <laughs> spaces that you should mention. In, in but your but, songs. but even, even urban grime, I mean, we, 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 um, other major conurbations and towns the world over have this exactly the same right. kind of basic construction. So, you know, <coughs> you have a bit of vandalism, turn it to something positive, you have a bit of uh, uh, music, you have a bit of greenery and so forth, you know. But Glasgow's, as far as I'm concerned, second to none, you know. So yeah. uh, music's about yeah, light and it, shade, that's isn't it? That's the yeah, whole yeah. thing. But yeah. Glasgow's taking priority with you. That's why you dropped that concept album, Harley <laughs> Davidson's in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I know that they're about to go big. I've just moved in recently. <laughs> <laughs> I have saw this at a Harley shop. Aye. Aye, I saw it. Amazing what we can attract. <laughs> yeah, I mean. But uh, when it came to actually playing music, George, who, yeah. who gave you your first guitar? Uh, my first guitar was actually a fella called Gordon, uh, and uh, he used is it, to. Is it not always the case? G- Gordon, <laughs> uh, Gordon Finlay, uh, <laughs> a really talented guy, very talented. But Gordon, for one reason or other, uh, he wasn't a very confident guy, you know. But he was a he was a, a top flight guitarist, mm. and uh, I was sitting busy doing computer work. And I just to say, I have to sit and wait and these stock sorts getting done. And he handed me the guitar and I started kind of dabbling with it then, you know. Um, excuse me, I've got a bit of guitar with the hay fever. <coughs> uh, and so... Two guitars in the I, so, the, <laughs> so it was him really that got me started. And then I didn't do very much for a long, long time. And then I sort of said to myself, I'd love to be able to just play a song mm-hmm. and, 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 and play it in front of people. Good enough. Aye, aye. Three chords, just good enough to be able to sing in, somebody, in front of somebody. And That's a bit confident, <laughs> eh? <laughs> you know. <laughs> So um, Robert uh, Burke, my good lady's uh, brother, he was good enough to uh, to come out and support me in the very early stages. And we went to the Carnarvon with a guy called Jimmy Wetherick. And Jimmy was a fantastic guitarist as well. And uh, put up with us for about a year and, uh, and learned such a lot from him. And the one piece of advice that he gave me, which I think is absolutely the case, he said to me, if you're going to sing, George, don't sing timidly. Even if you're going to sing it bad, own it, and I think that's true. You mm-hmm. know, it's, it's confidence the thing but pushing the door, Aye. you know. So, <coughs> um, and then after that, um, we moved on as things do, and uh, and met Bob and Bernadette and Phil. And uh, it's just been, a, as far as I'm concerned, it's been an absolute ball, you know. And I've had great fun at it, and I wouldn't pass up the nights that I go out, go out on a Tuesday night um, to the Winter's Jill, which is Phil Petherbridge's night. I go to Thursday night, which is um, Bernadette Collier's night, and then I go to the Dram, which is uh, and uh, and that's uh, uh, Phil Petherbridge again. But the the staff in these places is fantastic, and great local venues. And if uh, if people are <laughs> wanting for a bit of new music Aye. and a bit of drink, they should just come right along there, Aye. you know. So yeah, because as you said, it's staff important yeah. because it's yeah. creating the atmosphere. Oh, absolutely, the you know. Aye, absolutely. Enjoy Aye. themselves. They're really, real, really. Nice people, you know. So, are you okay for our song just now, George? You yeah, 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 no, yeah. Just in case you want a drink of water or anything like that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if you drink of water if that's all right. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put this wee song on and let you hear it, and yeah. let, let the listeners hear it. Regular listeners will probably know this because I've been battering on about them. But this is the Velo Ninos. Oh, the really? track I was talking about. Great. This is Helen's Town. Sails will have set winds 
fields of regret song to play for a comfort break. <laughs> that's Helen's Town and that's from the Velo Ninos who I'm hoping will be in touch very soon. At the moment we're talking to George Craig, Hugh and Bob and George goes under the name of Geo Daddy so we're going to have to explore where that came from. The Geo Daddy, that was, uh, I was teasing my, my young girl Patience uh, about how much of a superstar I was <coughs> and I obviously needed a moniker. That's the word you used the last time. <laughs> and so Daddy and Geo came out of it and that was it. So that's where it came from. Uh, and uh, 
to be honest with you, if you could see her eyes light up when, when she hears Jill down the <laughs> engine, it's, uh, it was all worth it, you know. So, yeah. I suppose she's going to send you a bill for royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So, so you're, you're suitably refreshed. I am indeed. And ready to go. What are you going to yes. give us, Josh? It's one that I uh, kind of wrote, uh, and Bob uh, and I worked on it just, just before we, 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 we came here, actually. It's only two or three days old, this, so... Um, Happy birthday to <laughs> So, it's called uh, long to, uh, The Long, Long Grass. So. Take it away when you're okay. ready, lads. In the long grass, the long tall grass, me and my baby drank wine. In a long glass, a long tall glass, me and my baby were fine. She came to me, and I could see the field was the place to share. So she went with me, like a buzzing bee, for a wine called Nashy Bear. In the long grass, a long tall grass, me and my baby. Days old, it's already sounds like a classic to me. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Geo Daddy in the house. Definitely, no, well done, nice one there, lads. And again, that thing about inspiration, Josh, for writing songs was yeah. that was that something you'd ever done before? Before so you'd even I'm, picked I'm, a guitar up or anything like that? Well, I've always been uh, self employed, so self employed guys are much maligned. I think uh, Ooh, the, yes. the, <laughs> the, you have to be very innovative yeah, and basically. Uh, you, you get tools and you can do all sorts of things with them. Uh, trades guys again, and I think um, when you're given tools and there's no disrespect to my, my esteemed colleagues here, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but with talent with Bob, like on the, the guitar and help me with the recording and Hugh with the mouth organ and the brand, uh, it's it's really easy work, you know. So <coughs> I'm not bad with words. Uh, anybody that knows me, I'll tell you, I can right. talk for Britain, you know, <laughs> particularly for Scotland. <laughs> so, so writing is not a problem for me. 
song construction is slightly different, and Bob's been an immense help to me there, you know. So uh, I've really enjoyed it. You know? No, because as you say, songwriting's a craft. Yeah, well, that you've absolutely to, is. You've, you've uh, got to really some, appreciate some, uh, that. Uh, uh, there's a guy called Stephen Clark who does some fantastic, uh, 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 clever, clever writing, clever words. Yeah. Bob himself, clever with words, and Hugh. I've listened to some of his stuff too, you know. So. Um, but uh, but but there's, it's like a poetry, really. You know, mm. um, mine's more simplistic, uh, and I like. I've got to say, I I, I love kind of upbeat music. Mm, yeah. So you you'll rarely get me doing anything that's matching somebody at their grave. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm not saying it's beyond me, but <laughs> but but you know, I prefer happy stuff. You know, so it's kind of. Stuff, you know. And just say, Bob and Hugh have both yeah. brought along CDs that you've given yeah, me, and yeah, hopefully yeah. we'll get to play that in the, yeah, the weeks yeah. to come. Uh, and again, for for you guys, uh, obviously it's that thing. But music, I always think music brings people together. Oh, it does. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that kind of how you've been working with George and working with yourselves, that sort of thing for keeping busy as musicians. Absolutely. Oh, we've been playing with ourselves for ages. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We've got uh, a long past. I can hardly see <laughs> you. Yeah. Well, he, he goes to the, the fort and plays up there and, mm. and uh, he does a, a smashing version of The Weight. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, um, yeah. You're, you're not seeing him uh, 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 the, the songs that he's uh, that are really um, his natural. And obviously <laughs> I've been playing uh, Moan Van de Tynamara. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, and we've had a long history there with, with that man too, and um, uh, playing various uh, festivals and things like that. So uh, that's what, why we got the interest really. You know, I started off with standing in my local pub watching MTV and saying, we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> and, it well, worked for Martin Offord, didn't it? I've trouble trouble is they were watching yeah. Prince. I've got a harmonica, let's get a try and we did and that was it, changed straight yeah. from there. Eh? And as you know, a lot of time you have to say to people, you're only holding yourself back, there's nobody else holding you back. Mm -hmm. right. just right, yeah. go, go for it if that's mm -hmm. what you think. Right. And that, that's the thing about George, about yourself and others that I, I've interviewed over the years, where they maybe didn't start off like playing in the band when they were at school and stuff, it wasn't maybe later on these yeah. things developed. And again, maybe you've got a wee bit of a musical maturity, but because you've obviously listened to a lot of music over the years, so yeah. you've got to think where you think, ah well, I want to learn how to play my favourites, like the Beatles or the Stones. Like a lot of people start off with that, or Bob Dylan songs. My, my mother, she was musical, uh, and uh, sadly for her, um, she wanted me to be involved in music, and at the time, well, I just to get involved maybe necessarily with the wrong crowd when you're younger, and yeah. it, it, you know, music just wasn't the scene, but. Uh, and that that's that, that's rather sad, you know, because but I also I think school teachers sometimes didn't do uh, musical school teachers around where I was anyway mm. didn't do us any real favours because they were at the time that the Beatles and Elvis and that were out they were trying to get us to do like Bach in the piano and things and aye, aye. you know young people well, nothing wrong with Bach <laughs> I always tried to get us to sing a song called My Loves and Arbutus <laughs> <laughs> you remember that distinctly well uh, but the thing is that, that it's not what you're principally interested in and I've, I've often said to many a would-be teacher that 90% of teaching I, I believe is down to stirring the pupils, pupils interest mm -hmm. because if right. the pupils interested they'll suck it in right. whereas if they're not interested they put up the shutters exactly. you know, go home and find I, 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 you know right. so it's about getting the right music for, for, for the subject it's really kind of individual I think you know um, so is there any way people can find out about your music online yeah well, uh, well uh, they, if they go into YouTube they'll I get me under Georgie Nice Guy <laughs> <laughs> but the, but what I do there is I upload songs. Uh, the minute he writes them. I, I, so the, I, they're, they're in dr the draft form. So they're Thank just you. they're absolutely recorded raw, uh, and they're in a, almost in an experimental stage. The, the ones that are uh, that have been recorded with by Bob, which is in a more professional fashion, as you get in the CD there, uh, they they have fixed pictures. The, the, the kind of raw ones, the draft ones, I upload Bob, when I wander up to Bob, so he can see you and go, oh, that's what you're playing there, and we, 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 we kind of work something out. That's good, I could be a transparent stuff. So, so, so it's brilliant, when, you know. When he, he finishes, if he's just writing something, and he gets to the end of the line, he's remembered it, he puts on this dead happy expression, that's like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully we're about to see that here, but <coughs> I look happy, George. No, I'm quite, I'm quite happy. I'm, I'm quite comfortable. Got another song in your list? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll do a... Uh, Unrehearsed? Uh, Voyage for Peace. Wait, 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 okay, what key was that? It's a G. It's a G. 
just as well you're a genius bum. Signing a great band so when they all finish together, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the daughter rehearsed that one. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> this is New Music City Radio with Jim in the hot seat, and I'm sure the guys in the other chairs are in the hot seat <laughs> as well. We have George, <laughs> Hugh, and Bob. And uh, obviously, thanks very much, guys, for increasing the heat in the studio. <laughs> I've lost 10 pounds. <laughs> Get your phone in my pocket. If I, if I find it, I'll keep it for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fantastic. And where can people see you next then, George? Uh, well, we go to, as I say, we go to the Winters Jill uh, on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday is Phil Petherbridge. When, uh, Thursday is uh, Bernadette Collier and the Dram 
is uh, on a Sunday night, and that's Phil Petherbridge yeah. as well. Should so. maybe mention it's not actually <laughs> open mics; it's an open session. It's yeah. just people sitting acoustically around yeah. the table playing yeah. together. And if anybody it's you know, a fun knows night. the song, I can join in. In my case, guess. <laughs> 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 they join in. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can know the chord sequence, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> no, fantastic, guys. And again, a great advert for people who get out and enjoy music and enjoy meeting it people. Is just again, the, the music isn't the second place, but no, no, the no. atmosphere, who you meet, or the contacts you make, that's absolutely. It's a whole thing about absolutely. getting out there. And it's peaceful people, you know. So, if you're out there and listen, get along, enjoy some great Glasgow live music. I'm going to finish the session here with a track from your CD, George. This is the one I've been featuring, and it's called... Blame it on me. Blame it on me. Blame it on me. If the morning starts bad, why don't you blame it on me? If your coffee is cold and your bread isn't toast, said honey. Just blame it on me If your car doesn't stop And we're miles apart If the weather is cold Why don't you blame it on me If your dress doesn't fit Cause it's tied at the hips I said, honey Just you blame it on me Blame it on me Say to blame it on me Don't change a thing Say to blame it on me When you're stressed at your work And you're wanting to talk You ain't got no time Why don't you blame it on me When the pressure is on And you're standing alone I said, honey Just you blame it on me when you come home, you think something needs sewn? Wash is not dry, why don't you blame it on me? When there's dust all around, peace can't be found. I say, honey, just you blame it on me. Blame it on me, I say, blame it on me. Don't change your thing. Blame it on me Oh, I'm just a guy With a twinkle in eye It's good to see you When you blame it on me I'll give you a hug From a big ugly mug Honey, just you blame it on me Say, honey, just you blame it on me It's a recorded version of one of the songs from the Geo Daddy CD. That's Blame On Me. Thanks very much to the guys. Enjoyed the chat and the music. <laughs>